you got your insurance card. You don't have a seatbelt on. So how about how about this? Let's let's restart. How about you don't give me a reason to stop you? You ever heard of that before? So wear your seatbelt and you won't get pulled over. It's a very simple task. If you don't you wear yours, absolutely. Do you not just there see you it go. on? I had there it on in the parking lot. Awesome. Give me your insurance card. I don't have it on me. Oh, that's another one. Grab right back with you. Yeah, right. I got as long as I need. Yes, I do. See you in a minute. Hey, stay in the truck. Stay in the truck and shut the door. If I have to ask you, if I have to ask you again, you're going to jail. Hey, he's being all. Uh, he, have him step out and sit on my car. What's up? Young, young, you got a complaint for him on you? No, nah, I don't. Hey, not, 95. I'm done with his ass. 95. Hey, you ain't listening since I pulled you over. Hey, get this on video, please. I'm going to stay hot just since, yeah, he's, I'm, I'm, since okay, we have a lawsuit absolutely. coming. And welcome back to the Civil Rights Lawyer channel. This footage was submitted by Tyler out of Coeta, Georgia. This happened back in February. It shows him being pulled over for a seatbelt violation at a gas station. And that turned into him being asked to sit on the hood of a police car and then being taken to the ground and being tased and then being arrested. What happened with the criminal charges? Were there any civil rights violations? Take a look at the footage and we'll discuss. got your insurance card you don't have a seatbelt on so how about how about this let's, let's restart how about you don't give me a reason to stop you you ever heard of that before so wear your seatbelt and you won't get pulled over it's a very simple task if you don't you wear yours absolutely do you not just there see you it go. on i had there it on in the parking lot awesome give me your insurance card i don't have it on me oh that's another one Grab right back with you yeah right it so as I understand it, Tyler was pulled over literally as he was pulling into this gas station. And so Tyler's position was, is that he didn't take the seatbelt off until he's on the private property of the gas station. And so he pulls up to the gas pumps and he feels like this guy who had pulled him over before was harassing him or treating him unfairly. So he gets out of his vehicle and he begins to talk to the guy. So there's, there's no doubt that assuming it's a valid traffic stop, which requires reasonable suspicion that some crime has been committed, usually a traffic violation. Police officers can order you to stay in your vehicle. There's no doubt about that. Whether or not taking the seatbelt off in the actual parking lot is a violation of the law or not sufficient to form that reasonable suspicion, that's going to depend on the particular state law here in Georgia. So I really have no idea. But assuming this is a valid traffic stop, he can order him to stay inside the vehicle. One eight four deputy tier. I just said it. Can you hear me, deputy tier? It'll be on your. It'll be on your ticket. Hold on one second. You said what? I got as long as I need. Yes, I do. See you in a minute. So the officer goes back to the police car and he's writing out a ticket or doing whatever he's doing. He looks to be doing something in the normal course of writing a ticket. And then Tyler reaches his head out the window of his truck and asks for his badge number and then expresses his opinion that um, he's taking too long basically to, to hold him at this stop. Uh, the officer then replies that he can hold him as long as he wants. So neither one are actually correct here. So not enough time if you look at the, the timestamps on the body cam footage. Hasn't been a whole lot of time that it elapsed so far. I think Tyler and maybe expressed it 20 minutes was a limit it's not exactly true i've done some videos on this before it just depends on the facts of the particular circumstances what the reasonable suspicion is and what the officer is doing so a lot of times this comes up in the context of, of drug dogs there are cases out there saying that 30 minutes is is sufficient that 40 minutes is too long that 45 minutes is too long so it just varies depending on the facts and you know what the what the officer is is doing so here there's no doubt that not enough time has elapsed to make this an unreasonable stop yet but if the officer really believes that he can hold him for as long as he want that would be incorrect at a certain point he will have held him too long and that would be a fourth amendment violation Good. hey stay in the truck Stay in the truck and shut the door. If I, have to ask you, if I have to ask you again, you're going to jail. And police officers can generally order occupants of a vehicle that's being stopped to stay in the vehicle or to get out of the vehicle, depending on the circumstances. Hey, 
He's been all. Uh, he, have him step out and sit on my car. So now the second officer arrives on the scene and he's going to walk up to the passenger side of the truck. Let's take a look at his body cam. But y'all got a wrap on this joker, don't you? Huh? Y'all got a wrap on this joker, don't hey, you? Man. What's up? Y'all, you got a complaint for him on you? No, nah, I don't. This is the, the this motherfucker keeps pulling me over every time I come to this fucking gas that, that, station. That, 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 that's fine. If you would hop out and go have a seat on this hood, please. You ain't got no weapons, nothing like that on you. No. Thank you. Just walk back there. Can I go in the store yet? No, nah, just hold on. I'm trying to fix the one to two. <laughs> have a seat on this hood. Thank you. Just have a seat on the freaking hood. Ha have a seat on the hood. Have a seat on the hood. So what's happening here is that Tyler was asked to sit on the hood of the police car. And then Tyler realizes that he has a pocket knife on him. And he sees that this police officer or these police officers really don't like him. And he foresees some sort of trouble having to do with the pocket knife. So he asks the police officer to come disarm him of the pocket knife and that's where things really go south let's switch back over to the other police officer's body cam where you can get a better view of what specifically happens hey 95 i'm done with his ass 95 you ain't listening since i pulled you over so when the one officer says 95 him, that was a code to the other police officer to arrest him. They didn't tell the guy that they were arresting him or why they were arresting him. The guy is not resisting. He's not fighting. He has no idea what's going on. Actually, it looks like he's allowing the officer to take the pocket knife out of his pants. But they out of nowhere begin this violent use of force against them. And if you look closely, you'll see that this police officer's body cam captures the fact that he pulls his taser out at the very beginning and then drops it on the ground. Go on the ground. All right, so this is the next day now. I'm talking about me talking to you, and YouTube refused to approve this video due to violence and some profanity that was exchanged during the violence. Now, I disagree with this for a number of reasons, so what I'm gonna try doing here is to host the actual violence footage elsewhere, and I'll give you a link to that maybe at the blog, and I'll just go ahead and describe to you right now what happened. So basically, these two police officers take this guy down to the ground, violently the larger fatter police officer then lays on top of him pinning him to the ground while refusing to allow him to put his hands behind his back but simultaneously ordering him to put his hands behind his back but at the same time putting his forearm into the throat of tyler and basically choking him for about four or five seconds while that's happening the other guy is tasing tyler threatening to tase him in the face. Finally, Tyler's like, you know, I'm, you know, please stop, I've had enough sort of deal. They pick him up, uh, put him in handcuffs, tell him he's a dumbass, and put him against the police car. Hey, get this on video, please. Hey, let me get, that's fine. Let me get your cell phone when we get done, okay? So here he's talking to Tyler's wife, who is filming with her cell phone, and he's basically threatening her that he is going to take her cell phone because he wants the footage right after he finishes basically beating up her husband. Yeah, you do. No, you're right, you sure do, because you don't listen. I'm gonna give you one ticket and a warning for the other, but you can't follow directions. I'm trying to get you to get a knife off of me. No, that's not how it works. What I tell you? I don't want you to shoot me. Did I pull my gun or anything on you? didn't beat my ass, Right. Y'all just beat my ass, Jesus bro. Christ. Why y'all gotta be a gang? Why y'all gotta be thugs, yeah, bro? bro? Can't you listen? Why y'all gotta be thugs? Why can't you listen? I asked you to get a knife, brother. Can't you listen? I asked you to get a knife. You asked if I had a weapon. Hey, is that your boyfriend? No, that is my husband. Your husband has really bad listening problems. Yeah, that's um, because you, so you he's won't stop messing uh, with him. That's okay. What's his, I don't even know the guy. His name's Tyler, but so, you've done uh, this to him so, several different places well, in the first place. Here's the deal. If he'd point. stop giving me a reason to stop okay, him, he wouldn't well, get pulled over. I don't even recognize him. Okay, well. I stop hundreds of cars a year. Okay, but so. did you give him a seatbelt ticket? I was working on it, but he yeah, won't but, listen. Yeah, yeah but now he's going to catch you on charge. Yeah, okay. So I'll let you call him when he's bonded out. Yeah, I done told him. He yeah, if he would just shut up and look. Okay, I think you'd take that. Home. No, not right now. Absolutely not. No, just sit in your car. No, yeah, you're free to go. Get out of here. Don't talk. You don't have to talk to me that way.
The cop just about messed up there, then he caught himself. He told the wife to go sit in the car. She wisely says, am I free to go? And he almost said no. Had he done that, that would have been a detainment, a.k.a. a seizure under the Fourth Amendment, and he would have had to have some reasonable suspicion to detain her, which he didn't have, and that would have been a Fourth Amendment violation. If you need to be Why checked out. To be like this, I was gonna give you take and get you on the way. You don't want to listen. Dude, you listen, that listen, listen, listen. This is Do for you court. understand how many cops I know. Talk to me like a man. I will in a minute. Hold on. Let me finish this. Are you a normal man? Hold on, sir. Give me one second. I just told her to leave because I wasn't gonna deal with it. I don't blame you. She's trying to hug him. I'm like, I'm not doing it after he just fought with us. Ripped the fucking hole through my pants. I fought with you. Y'all slammed me to the ground. Two grown ass men jumped on me and I fought with you. You do not listen. You got a lawsuit coming. If you, you do not I'm listen. I'm telling you, this suit's been after you me. You do not listen. This other officer I don't even know. been I, after I, I've me. I've never met if him. If you don't get me out of this life. car, apparently I've seen him. Apparently, apparently I'm after brother. him. She said you I've stopped him a hundred times. Down, I ran the tag. It's, it's only had one. Well, I told him, I said, if you wear your seatbelt, you don't get pulled over. I mean, but I guess it's a hard concept. wrong, too. It's a hard concept. But All right, I want to take him to jail. I'm going to stay hot just since he's since we have a lawsuit coming. Well, the thing is, you violated 161024, which is obstruction in the state of Georgia. Two times, actually. I didn't obstruct shit. You no, know, you're about to learn today, because you did. Yeah, you're about to okay. learn. When I get this qualified immunity. Well, going to be a black What? <laughs> what are you talking like you don't know what the fuck it is? All right, bro, just be quiet, man. Listen, since you're so hurt, I need you to be quiet and relax. I don't want you to work yourself up, okay? Be quiet. I don't want you to hurt. You're hurt. Was he hitting on you or anything? You said what? Was he hitting on you? No, I don't know. I only slammed him down. He got right back up. I thought he was going to bush ball. So here, both of these police officers admit that Tyler was not fighting them in any way. Yet you'll hear when um, the story is retold several times afterwards, including this conversation with the supervisor, the lieutenant, they keep using the word fighting telling Tyler, look, you were fighting, you were fighting, you were fighting. Clearly, if we watch the video, we see that he was not fighting at all. And here the officer admits that Tyler did not strike him, did not fight with him in any way. He choked me, had me around my throat. No, my, my elbow my was on your upper tree. or your lower chin. Yeah, might have been on your neck. So I don't leave none of that out. Don't okay. leave none of that well, out. Hey, it's, sir, we have to do what we got to do to get you in yeah, custody. Okay. aggravated assault, bitch. Okay, well, I need you to go take warrants out for that then since we did aggravated assault. We're sitting here trying to place you under arrest and you're well, resisting. Did aggravated assault. Okay. I'm coming after both of you. Okay, yes, sir. I'm coming after both of you. Yes, sir. I understand. I got plenty of money. Yes, sir. I understand. I'm gonna have y'all's job. Yes, sir. I understand. And then I got beat up. For no, you didn't get beat up for that. You got beat up because you resisted. I don't know you. What, that, I, dude, I don't. That's what you don't understand. I don't know anything about you. I don't know but what you're you gonna should. do. I, I'm, well, not, I'm, I'm not. I'm not a. To get you to listen, people think police are robots. I'm a person just like you. I don't have extra X-ray vision to know look, what you're doing. I'm, I'm okay? trying to like give you. Now, Tyler gets to talk to the supervisor, I believe his name is Lieutenant Looney, and he's just an adorable looking guy, as you can see. And this is where Lieutenant Looney says that, well, you were fighting, you were fighting, you were fighting. I watched the video, and you were fighting. Well, I felt like this dude was out to get me. He done pulled me over before. He was sitting in the same spot. He pulled me over again, so I was agitated. Well, he said, put your hands behind your back, and you started fighting, according to the other video. And I, I, mean, I was, you started resisting and fighting, and they took, Somebody put you Somebody could have said, look, Miss Ferguson, we're going to have to put your hands behind your back, you're under arrest. I immediately started getting grabbed and slung different ways. There was no opportunity for me to comply at that point. Well, as soon as he said, I can tell you what the video that I saw said. He said, put your hands behind your back. He grabbed you and the fight. That's what the video shows. Now, well, it was clear on the video you were fighting. <laughs> so, I mean, well, you're you going to... grown men grabbing me and slinging me Policeman, now, but... policeman who told you you're under arrest. That's who you're fighting. I don't know what video this lieutenant was watching. The video did not show Tyler fighting. In fact, the body cam video shows both police officers admitting that Tyler did not strike them in any way. The video shows Tyler not actually striking them in any way. 
To the contrary, it does show these officers using violent physical force against Tyler, including the, the main officer attempting to tase him from second one, but he fumbles his taser and he drops it to the floor. Additionally, Tyler also obtained the exterior surveillance camera from that gas station that shows from a, a different view that Tyler was not even resisting them, that they attacked him first. And they choke him. They take him to the ground violently several times. Um, the fat cop lays on him while choking him. And they laughingly tell him to put his hands behind his back, which of course he can't do because he's being smushed by this fat cop. So it shows violence against somebody who is not fighting back whatsoever, whose only crime was a seatbelt ticket. The real crime involved here was contempt of cop. It was pissing off these cops. So what they're doing is retaliating against this guy for asserting his rights. Should he have gotten out of his truck? Did he have a right to get out of his truck? No, he should not have done that. But it's not like he got out and went just crazy. I mean, he followed most of what they told him to do. But what he didn't do was fairly reasonable. It was it was concern over this knife, and and he wasn't being unreasonable in that regards. They just had said, "All right, that's it." They got fed up with him, and this main officer Tier he admits several times throughout these conversations that he couldn't even hear the conversation between this other deputy Brooks and Tyler. So he just said, "That's it. I'm a police officer with ultimate power. I am the government. You will obey me, and I'm not dealing with you anymore." Let's take him to the ground. Let's use force on him. Let's teach him a lesson. And I think that's what was going on here. And that's why Tyler is was so upset here. That's why he wanted to talk to the supervisor. But talking to the supervisor, we know how that goes, doesn't it? Supervisor doesn't care. I mean, just look at the supervisor. How many people do you think he has done the same thing to? The supervisor doesn't care at all. And they like to focus on, well, why didn't you wear your seatbelt? Why didn't you obey your instructions? Well, what they did, maybe he should have done something differently, but what they did was way, way worse. I mean, they they used physical violence on this guy, slammed him to the ground multiple times, choked him, laid on him, tased him. I mean, hurt the guy, and then arrested him. And guess what? All for nothing. The is All these threats of they're prosecuting the guy, and they're sorry, but they just have to enforce the law. Well, guess what? All of the charges were dropped by the prosecutor, despite the existence of this footage. So it's this is something that happens every day all around the country. As police officers, if there's even a hint of somebody talking back to them, they use all the power of, of the government to teach them a lesson. And like they say, he might beat the charges in the end because we do have you know some level of due process. But he's not going to beat the ride. He's not going to. He's not going to avoid being beaten up. He's not going to avoid the punishment of sitting in the police car, the punishment of being incarcerated. And at the end of the day, the only real remedy available to Tyler is to file a civil rights lawsuit under Section 1983. And we know how that goes with qualified immunity. So hopefully there's a lawyer in Georgia who is interested in taking Tyler's case here. And if so. Um, you're welcome to reach out to me and I'll put you in touch with Tyler. Also, if you want to help fight these sorts of police abuses, such as we see here, you can use the donation link in the description and donate to the Institute for Justice. Keep civil rights lawyers like me working, suing the government all over the country. And also, if you like going over these sorts of videos and you like learning about constitutional rights and analyzing what police officers do wrong, what they do right, what suspects do wrong, what they do right, make sure to subscribe both here and at the blog at thecivilrightslawyer.com. Because remember, freedom is scary. Deal with it.